Welcome to Arcade Sunday. Uh, I'm just testing out a new recording method here. Uh, let's hope it works out. I think um, the camera might wobble a bit, so let's see how it goes. Let's uh, have a one coin game of genius and uh, let's see how bad or how good this uh, angle is. It's Arcade Sunday. I think the angle is perfect, honestly, but um, I think the, the problem is going to come when the camera stops moving about. But yeah, let's see, uh, a little bit of wobble already, I can see by looking up. I think I'm going to try and try to perfect this uh, method of uh, recording. This basically involves having the camera not on a camera stand uh, to the side of a cabinet, but rather from up and pointing down. If I stay fairly flat, uh, should work out pretty good. So how's it going in uh, arcade land out there? Hope everybody's having a good time and uh, playing all the classic arcade games that they love to play. Trademark. And I was uh, out at a bugging alley this morning and I was busy watching some uh, a regional championship and uh, of course super good but uh, they do have some very poor quality arcade games there they do have some good ones too some newer ones some of the older ones they actually still do have um, in fact I had another video um, you can look it up it's um, the tour of uh, Dolphin Bowl or Funland Toti, Nelson Toti. And uh, yeah, the place needs some work. I would actually love to be able to help uh, make that arcade uh, great again. Put some uh, classic games up there. Probably gonna try and uh, once, I, once I get a bit more uh, customized to the place, I shall uh, try and get hold of uh, the management and uh, ask him what a, if, you know, if I can maybe put up something like this in the arcade and I think it'll be pretty cool actually. Very good collaborative effort. Excuse Willow in the background there, super loud. Free laugh at 20,000. Yeah, I think I've uh, covered Exceeders before. Um, it's one of those games, um, I believe, that there's a lot of, um, know, some people hate on this game, I can't quite, still don't really understand why, it's a great game if you ask me, before it's time, I mean, really, so, secret over there, whoa, yeah, once you start doing well in this game, it sort of starts to try to kill you off, those little uh, icicles and then they send in some really really fast chips and things so yeah they don't like you to live in this game you to these guys these guys are fast don't worry I can handle them oh that's that one yeah so this is really just for for demonstration purposes of this uh, camera angle, I, uh, looking up now, I could probably adjust it slightly more. It'd be a bit better. And I definitely need to stabilize it. This uh, can't really move around so much as it is now. Every time I pull back on the cabinet too hard, it uh, basically the camera. Ah, whoa. I pull back on the control a bit too hard. It kind of wobbles around. Okay, it's first pass. Hopefully. Oh, come on. Really? Okay, let's just try and move this slightly. Okay, it's still a little bit out of the way, but uh, hard to play and uh, adjust it once. Yeah, so back to this, this game, like why, why are people hating this game? I'm not really sure. Um, I've uh, only really heard that information from uh, US 
based YouTube channel, so uh, perhaps their opinions are a bit different from my experiences. Um, I've never seen the original arcade cabinet in person, I've seen it obviously on YouTube. And it, to me, it's oh my word. Ah. To me, it's a great looking cabinet, and what people say is that, yeah, nice cabinet, bad game. So I'm not really sure where that comes from, but. I don't know, I grew up playing this uh, in a generic uh, wooden cabinet, much like my, how my arcade is, is built. Just generic, no name brand cabinets. Uh, running games. So, yeah, I, I love this game. Uh, in fact, a trick back then, again, whether I said this or not. Uh, was uh, people used to put a matchstick into the button two, the bomb button in other words, and uh, oh, so that they could just, oh man, just continuously bomb. No, I thought an uh, interesting trick, so basically just do that all the time, bomb, 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 with a matchstick in the button, I mean, it's quite innovative, what people used to do back in the day, around here anyway. Okay, I uh, really haven't shown this game much justice, but again, it's not really about the game today. It's more about the uh, possible camera angle and uh, what I need to do to get that working a bit better. Yeah, too much vibration going on. Beep. Okay, maybe we can get past this bus, hopefully. Take that. Oh! <laughs> well, at least I got a free laugh as I died there. So, yeah, I got past the boss. There's two ways of clearing the boss, as you might know. Again, this video is not about this game. But so uh, you can either shoot out the the four little areas of the bus, or you can shoot the center out like I did now. And in fact, it's much easier to do the center shot, of course. But to, to line it up is. Okay, I already stuffed that up. Anyway. Okay, so they can actually make me do the boss again, which is whatever. Okay, take that. Maybe this time I can get past after four attempts. I mean, really, four attempts. Yeah. I'll reiterate one more time. <laughs> this game is uh, only a demonstration of my new camera angle attempt. So I'm usually quite good at this. Uh, as you can see, my high scores also not not very good. One fifty-seven. Two. Those little tanks on the floor, they start moving, there we go, it's moving. Some of them move and they stop, it's actually quite funny. Um, like a matter of sort of artificial, you see, and he stopped. So I missed him because... Okay, boy. Uh, but, yeah, uh, great game. Um, I think, yeah, quite a good angle. I'll check this video out later. And a very loud willow in the background there by Capcom. This is a 1982 Sevius by Namco.